when we are going to a doctor for some consultation or let us consider that the ladies in a home are going out for some party now the point is that though we know the person who is sitting beside to us or though we do not know who is the person sitting beside us either that is a doctor's clinic or that is at an occasion of uh, like a marriage like a birthday party or some occasion where we are gathering up so now the point is that when we are communicating with each other for communicating with each other there is one common source if you consider the doctor's clinic doctor is a common source where the multiple people are coming and connecting at it right so in the same way if you take any occasion from our home okay it might be occasion or birthday party or some marriage so though we don't know the people but we know one person that is a main source right so for that from that main source we are getting connected with multiple people so in the same way in order to have the communication with more than one table in power bi what we have to do hi i am m asif hussain from no half academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand what is a data model in power bi how many types of models are available in power bi what are the types of cardinalities we have in power bi we are even going to learn what are schemas and different types of schemas in power bi we are also going to learn the practical approach on how we should create a data model in power bi desktop so by the end of this video you could able to learn and get a very clear idea on the different types of models cardinalities how should we build up the relationships how to combine two different tables so all these we are going to learn by the end of this video so watch till the end my dear viewers let me tell you about one technical terminology which is very much required to know before we start working on this model so there a word is that power pivot power pivot is a place where we have the relations where we create the models and everything and now coming to the point we do not know that there is something called power pivot until or unless we know something about power bi so many of the people are not aware what exactly is power pivot until they started working on power bi but power pivot is something which is already existing in microsoft excel so if you are a pro user in microsoft excel then power pivot might be a like a cup of coffee to you so don't worry here in this video we are going to learn what exactly is the same thing that we are going to have in microsoft excel as well and here i would like to guide you on one important thing first let us go and extract or fetch the data into our uh, power bi desktop so for this i am choosing my excel file and here i have employee data which i am just getting it into my power bi desktop okay so here i have employee data now let me click on load let me click on load let's see what's happening here let me click on load so as soon as i click on load we will be getting the complete data here in the right hand side in the data pane okay so we have got one data so in the same way i'm going to get another data here so let me consider this data employee training data so that data also i am fetching it into my power bi desktop so here i have a employee table and i have training table these two tables i am loading it into my power bi desktop all right so we have got the employee table and we have got the training table so we have come into the table view where we can view our data that we have it so in the employee table we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have eight columns and as you can see that we have employee id manager id title height date department and job grade and in the training table the same thing that is the common which is employee id all right in employee id in the employee table and training in the training table also we have employee id column so now we go to the employee data here also we have employee id column so 
whenever we are trying to create a model we should make sure that there should be some common column between every uh, table that we have so my dear viewers let me just explain you what exactly is a data model data model is nothing but when you would like to have the communication between one or two tables or one or more tables then there should be a relationship between every table so now when I'm talking about a relationship between every table, there is one condition. The condition is that there should be one common column. All right. So that is a condition. Now, let me explain you what are the different types of models that we have. One, we have dimensional model and the second one, we have relational model. So dimensional model is something which the data will not be frequently changing. So we call that as a dimensional model and we have something called as relational model. It is very difficult for you in order to understand these two models in a technical terminology, dimensional model and relational model. Am I right? Let me explain it to you in a very easy way. So here, let me go and show you the model view where the model will be visible. So if I click on this model view, we can see that we can see that there is some relation is created between two or three tables right so we have three tables here as you can see that in the training table there is one relation which is created there is a relation which is created if you click on this one just place your cursor on this one it is telling me that the employee id from the employee table and the employee id from the training table that is matched as these both are the common columns that's where the model is created and in the same way if we compare the employee table and employee data table here also we have employee id as a common column so by considering that the relationship is created so now when i'm talking about the relationships or i could like to uh, define it in another way we generally call it as cardinality so if i would like to talk about the cardinality then there are many to one cardinality many to many cardinality one to one cardinality one to many cardinality okay or relationships so now what is many to one i am the instructor you are listening to me you might be one you might be hundred one to many if i am teaching only to personally you it's one to one okay if you all are talking to me alone it's many to one if you all are talking with my entire team of know-how it's many to many okay so it's a very general example that i have given it so now if we just look into it let's consider let's consider that i am just removing this relationship that is created i'm just deleting this relationship so now if i would like to get the data or if you would like to get the column from this particular table and from this particular table into one visual it is not allowed okay it is not allowed because there is no relationship between two tables so in order to get the relationship if it is not there how and what we have to do there are two ways to do that number one just drag the employee id column from employee table and place it in the employee id column in the employee data table okay so now as you can see that it is the employee table employee is a common column employee data table employee is a common column and cardinality as you can see one to many many to many many to one one to one so it is by default so now you can click on save as you can see as soon as you click on save the cardinality the relationship is created it is one to many relationship employee ID, employee ID. okay now if i would like to again you know give you the another way of creating a cardinality so for this let me delete the relationship that is there in between these two tables so here i'm going to click on manage relationships so as soon as you click on manage relationship it is telling me the employee id common column which is there in training table you can match it with the employee id column in a employee table which is active you know that i can enable it and if i click on close if i click on close as you can see that the relationship which is between the employee table and training table this is active but if you would like to create a new relationship so for that i click on this relationship and i'll click on auto detect as soon as i click on auto detect if it is having any relationship it will tell us found one new relationship so just click on uh, 
close just click on close see this as soon as i have clicked on auto detect it has automatically detected that there is one common relationship that i can create from where from employee data table employee id is common and from the employee table employee id column is common so now if i click on close you can see that the relationship is created okay so these are two ways one manually we can drag and drop it here or we can go to manage relationship and from there also we can do that so this is also the relationship that i am talking about it is one to many so one from one to many so if i apply filter on the employee table it the filters in the employee the employee data also it will be applicable so one to many arrow mark is following up so from employee table to employee data table so that's how it is now the point is that we have to understand the two technical terminologies which is dimension table and a factor table so whenever we are working in a real time projects in a company we work on the schema in the type of schema so the data that we receive from the client or customer we try to understand it in the schema perspective so now there are two types of schemas we have in power bi which is a star schema and a snowflake schema now what exactly is star schema so before learning star schema you should understand dimension table and fact table okay so fact table is a table that we generally i mean if you would like to talk in a, in a layman terminology then you can tell that fact table is a table that we receive the original data where we have the master data okay from the client or customer so from that fact table if we try to create multiple dimension tables so just let me show you in with a small diagram that will be very much clearly understandable to you okay so let us consider this is my fact table this is my fact table ft so this is my original table of the master table where i have all my original data so now if there are multiple dimension tables so dimension table is something that a user will create for their understanding for their calculation for their analysis i am the user i am creating this dimension tables i am creating multiple dimension tables for my analysis for my understanding for meeting the client's requirement i am creating the dimension tables okay so if not there are a few tables that we come extra you know that we get it extra from the required uh, uh, end user so that also you can consider it as a dimension table now the star schema concept is that if all these dimension tables are directly connected with the fact table all these dimension tables if they are directly connected with the fact table then we call it as a star schema so doing any power bi calculation performing the visuals creating a report performing dax functions so all these are very simple and it will be very easy if we work on the data with a star schema perspective so that will be easy way now if i would like to talk another type of schema which is called as a snowflake schema which is called as snowflake schema so what exactly is snowflake schema now as per my requirements i felt that okay so the di the dimension tables that i have are still not sufficient in order to meet the client's requirement so what i do i create another table from this dimension table okay i create another dimension table from this dimension table so i create another dimension table with the data that i have in my earlier dimension table so now when these dimension tables are from the i mean this new dimension tables that i am creating i am creating it on the basis of my existing dimension tables i hope it is clear so now when these dimension tables are indirectly connected with the fact table that is called as a snowflake schema that is called as a snowflake schema so performing the calculations doing the reports the performing data modeling all these will be little bit typical and critical when we use the snowflake schema but star schema is something which is preferable okay so we have we have come up here so let us consider my employee table here is the you know fact table and i have created the multiple dimension tables or the tables that i have received from the end user so that if i consider this as a dimension tables these are connected with my fact table so we can consider that there are two types of schema star schema and snowflake schema we also have some other schema called as galaxy schema okay so let's not talk about that now so we have to focus on the two types of schemas that we generally use 
uh, while uh, doing uh, projects in our real time in the industries so my dear uh, viewers okay in this video we have learned what is a data model in power bi what are the types of schemas available in power bi what are the different types of cardinalities available in power bi how to create a data model in power bi with practical example thank you for choosing nahav academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning